Hi and welcome to the Migro YouTube channel. My name is Shane and I'm the founder of Migro. In this video series we're going to look at the differences between growing in soil and growing hydroponically. We'll have the two systems set up beside each other and we'll be running through a full grow of chili plants from seed to harvest and looking at the setup, the commissioning, the running it right through the grow and the cost at the end. So we got uh, little seedlings here, our chili seeds. We've got Tokyo Hot F1 and Basket of Fire. And a sample of two of each of those is going to go into our grow tents. And we're going to grow them all the way through to harvest. And we're going to run through, as I said, the um, pluses and minuses of each of the system. First off is looking at the unboxing. Um, in particular the RDWC system. We got it in from Alien. It's the Alien Pro system. So let's unbox it and have a look. Starting off, we have our optional reservoir, so you can hold reserve water here, which you can have a height and gravity feed using the green tube down into our uh, mixing tank here. And this has a float valve, so it will maintain the top, an adjustable float valve as well, so it will maintain the top level of water in line with our other pots and we'll keep that filled from our reservoir tank. Uh, we also have our pump and our pump actually sucks water through the main pipe down from the um, filter here. So if we look from a high level down at it You'll see that there is uh, a line coming from here in the center of these pipes, sucking it back into our header tank, and that pulls the flow out through the four inch pipes, through the two sets of tanks, and back through the middle. So, just looking at that four inch system, then, so from our feed tank, the water will flow through the four inch pipe through the T and then go through these two sets. Here, this is a large screw fitting. So this goes through the tank and this clamps over to provide a seal. So that comes right through around to the other side. The pipes join together and we have this uh, suction pipe sucking the, the flow of the liquid back to the mix tank. And you can isolate this filter if you need to change the filter, you can do it without emptying, emptying the system. The only potentially tricky bit really with putting these, to, these systems together is you have to measure, uh, size up and cut your hoses on the air hose side uh, in order to fit the air stones for the four pots and the feeder line into the reservoir. Uh, where we have the air diffuser. So you start off with your air pump here and you got simple little connectors here. So it's a rubber hose fits on and these little clips fit over the hose over the um, uh, thing it's connected to and that just keeps them in place. We've then got a T-piece here. Now, if you wet these when you're uh, connecting them up, they will go on easier and form a better connection. So in this case, I'm just gonna connect them up lightly. Now one side of this T piece is going to go into the um, reservoir tank 
and or sorry the mixer tank and that's going to feed the air diffuser and then this section we are going to use to connect up our air stones which will go into each of these tanks so we've got a T piece here now we just connect up the larger pipe all the way to the end here and we put a, a stopper on the end so the, the air doesn't fly out the end of the pipe and now we have four small connections along the length of the pipe for our four pipes and we need to feed or put our air stone into the tank first feed the wire or sorry feed the uh, tube out of the tank and then fix onto here to make our connections so we'll show you those in the um, in situ in the tanks now in a second so we've got the air pump here uh, all connected up it's connected up to uh, the green tube which has a t-piece on it here we go into the mixing tank with the air diffuser inside so the air is going to feed in here and, and bubble up through the nutrient solution in the mixer tank the other part of the T line comes down here and we have the small hoses connected four of them and these come in through the pre-drilled hose and down into the bucket to the air stones and there's one of those in each tank we set up the airline hose, so now we've got to set up the incoming line and uh, we're going to look at the reservoir tank connection into the mixing tank and the connections then in and out of the mixing tank. So the reservoir uh, we haven't filled but for demonstration purposes we just have it there built and it's upstanding. It would usually be obviously higher than your mixing tank so they can gravity feed. It's got an isolation um, valve on it so you can, you can switch it off if you want to. So medium sized hose comes down and uh, connects up here and we've got a float valve which will control the flow in here. When the water gets too high this will lift and shut that water supply off. Over here we have two pipes which we're not going to be using in this setup. They're chilling pipes. You need to keep your nutrient solution uh, around 18 to 20 degrees and in order to do that during the summer months you may need to, to chill them in, in certain environments. We're not going to use these so they just stay over there redundant. Down in here we have the pump. pump is fed by a plug outside and sucks through here and will we'll, um, the outlet from the pump just back into the main chamber will be back up through here. Uh, this is the large four inch outlet going out this way to go with which will carry your nutrients out to your um, your uh, grow your grow buckets pots. And again we have the air diffuser which is connected up to our air pump. So that's it for our mixing tank. It's got a cover on it then. cover on it and instead of a mesh pot it has a, a little cover lid here so that's it. We've got the Alien Pro system into a 5x5 five five grow tent now. We're using the, we're lighting it up with the Micro 600 here on its hanging frame. We've got a 4 inch extractor fan running off a thermostat. We've got a clip on fan here just to circulate the air around the plant canopy. That, that'll be permanently powered with the lights. Then we've got the, uh, you can see the lights here connected up on a timer or three drive drivers. Uh, and for the RWC system, we have tightened all the pipes up with our Andy tool. We have um, connected up electrically our air pump, which is going to be on permanently and our recirculating pump which is submersible in this uh, header tank and that's going to be on permanently as well so no timers for those so it's all ready to go so this is our soil setup you see it's a, a lot simpler than our DWC setup we've got here a four pot four 18 litre pot uh, system no soil in there yet obviously uh, we've got a Migro 400 grow light hanging above. 
Uh, each of the pots then is being fed by a drip feeder and that drip feeder, uh, those individual lines are coming off our main line which is uh, being fed from our header tank with a submersible pump in it. That submersible pump is going to be connected up to a timer, so the pulsing uh, water feed to the, to the pots. Our extractor fan is going to be on a thermostatic control, so um, we'll switch on when the temperature gets too high, or an increase speed when the temperature gets too high. And we've got our lights there, our two drivers for our Migo 400 sitting there, and they'll be on a lighting timer too. Well, you can, you can see it's a, a hell of a lot more simpler than the RDWC system, um, certainly to, uh, to, to set up, to, to buy. But it's going to be really interesting to see the advantages and disadvantages of comparing the pretty much the most basic system you can have in terms of this soil system with one of the best, the sort of most high-end hydroponic systems available today with the um, Alien or DWC. So, well, please stay tuned. We're going to have uh, commissioning coming up in our next video, and we'll be looking at mixing our nutrients and our soil and getting both sides set up. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Take care.